Hello, welcome to my YouTube NetSec channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, we are gonna continue our IBM Guardian app. In my previous lab, we installed uh, MySQL and MS SQL Express into our database server. We also installed a game on our database server. So in this lab, we're gonna install STAP component. First thing, let's take a look at our database server, the gain client status here. You can see we already installed Jim and it's installed status. Um, now we're gonna go to module installation to do as tab installation. So this is our database server, which has Jim installed, Guardian installation manager software installed. In my list lab, I already have as tab component installed, so we can just directly set up as tab. But if you don't have it, you may want to go to upload modules to upload you download gene software from here upload stap component software from here this is ibm fix center you can download stap component from here continue You need to choose the right S tab based on your version. As you can see, this is uh, the right one for me, 11.0.1.46 S tab Windows. You can download it from here. Just click the link. The fixed center will show you a downloading link. It's only 400 Mac. Let's give it download and then take a look what is inside. You may need it's a gym pack file. Extension will be GIM gym. So you need to unzip it. Maybe you need to unzip twice to get the gym file and upload it from there. So downloading is almost finished. It. Open. This is our files. Let's unzip it. Unzip it again. This is a gym kit. That's the one we needed. We're going to upload it to our IBM Guardian server. Basically, it's Guardian, Guardian collector. Choose file. Gym kit, it's a gym file. Open. Let's do upload. So we already imported, uploaded the modules. And then from this green check mark, you can import this module. As you can see, the version in our collector is an older version. So it's 1024 underscore one. So in this case, you're gonna do upload module is 1046. Upgrade it, import this module. After you import it, we can install this to our database server through Jim. Go back, 
set up by client. Next, select your DB server. So now we have 1046. Now we can do deployment. Next. So here is a directory for STAP installation. Use a slash backslash as a path separator. Don't use quotation mark. This is a required field to enter the information. So we're gonna install the D drive guardian folder. There's other interesting folder you may want to put it in. For example, it's a WinStab SQL Guard IPs. So if you have multiple collectors, you want your database as tab reporting to that collector, you can specify the SQL Guard IP. You also can specify multiple IP by adding uh, like an additional SQL ID IP. But for me, I only have one character, so doesn't matter. So I just leave it by default. No change in here. So next. And do install. Let's do it now. We don't have to schedule it. Install has been submitted for Wins tab on client one client show status. It's an impending install situation. After a couple of minutes, we can refresh the status. It shows installed. That's great. We can click OK. Now we can check as tab. control to see this machine. So we have 172, we have STAP, we can see details or all, all those things. And all other STAPs we installed before. So this is the one we just installed STAP. Um, We can RDP into this server and verify the status. First thing, we go to D drive. You can see the Guardian folder has been created. That's for our STAP installation. We can look at um, our install or change program. You can see Guardian has been installed it. Previously, we have a Windows G installed. We also have a Guardian Agent Monitor installed as well. So that's all for how you install STAP. Thank you for watching.